Hello tankers, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today I'm excited because we got an awesome new addition from Tongde that we're gonna be talking about. And we've got it in the newest version uh, available to the Tongde tank lineups. This is gonna be the M109A2. It's a self-propelled howitzer, uh, 16th scale, and this is the Professional Plus edition. There are three editions of this tank available right now. We have the upgrade edition, which you can see here. That's gonna come uh, painted in a desert scheme but also it has all plastic road wheels all plastic uh tracks treads uh things of that nature then you have the professional uh edition which most of our tanks we sell has that edition as well that's going to have all metal as you can see in this picture all metal tracks and road wheels and um you know things like that great for uh bashing outdoors more but now they have the more newest edition which is professional plus so what that is it has also has metal uh tracks the same thing as the professional edition does but the professional plus has those tracks painted so they don't come in that plain uh boring metal now they come painted and also the professional plus editions from tongue all feature a different livery from the original version so the upgrade and professional are going to have one livery and then for this self-propelled howitzer you can see that you got a more camo livery on uh on this professional plus edition so that's what we went with to show you here now seeing it on the table i already did a live unboxing uh you can check that video out we'll put a link in the description down below so you can see me pull out of the box you see that it comes with a bunch of uh spare parts all the little accessory bits you're gonna have to spend maybe a half an hour 45 minutes um just you know going back and forth between the manual it's all laid out perfectly as far as where everything goes all the little detail parts are labeled nicely and neatly so again just take your time go around the tank from each angle and you're going to be putting on all the guns and all the little armaments and a lot of the back section all uh, gets placed on and when it's done it looks absolutely awesome but now before we plug this thing in here on the table and then get it outside just to run it around a little bit let's go over the features of the tonga howitzer so now you already know the differences between the three versions of this tank, but all versions come with these uh, select features. You're gonna have the latest generation TD 3.0 multifunction control board. That's controlling the lights, the sounds, and everything we're about to talk about. You've got proportional steering, proportional acceleration, turret traverse, and gun elevation depression. So that just means uh, the harder you press on the sticks or push in the direction, the faster it's gonna move and the slower it'll move um, you know, more scale-like, the uh, lighter you press on the sticks. You've got a fully programmable radio uh, that comes with the model. This is not just a throwaway RTR transmitter. Uh, this transmitter comes with directions where you can really uh, set the amount of recall, the sensitivity and turns, the overall sensitivity and acceleration. Uh, just follow the manual step by step and you can really fine tune your RC tank. You've got complete ball bearings, a cannon recoil system, adjustable track tension, so if you find your track is loose, you can easily uh, adjust and tighten that up. You've got smoke effects, which can be turned on or off from the transmitter. You have LED lights, uh, both for the uh, machine gun at the top, and you have blinkers on this model, and uh, front and rear lights as well, which is pretty cool. You've got four different sound sets, along with sound effects volume, so you can make the sounds uh, higher or lower as you please. You have track recoil, also you have the long barrel recoil, so when you fire uh, this monster howitzer cannon, you're gonna see it recoil and kick back, which is pretty cool. The model also comes with six millimeter plastic BBs, which you can load up and fire, so just be careful, you don't wanna fire that at anyone else. Um, you know, you can get a little hurt if you get hit with that. So wear eye protection, things of that nature, if you are gonna be shooting in directions of yourself or anything like that. And then you also get the uh, invisible IR sensors. So these tanks can play IR battles with each other where uh, you can plug in this IR sensor and fire at another tank. And then finally, you're gonna see independent suspension on all the road wheels. So when you're uh, traversing over any sticks or anything, you can really see that suspension work and it looks so realistic uh, on all the tank models, not just this one. So those are the features, guys. Now, just looking at it on the table, just wanna take you uh, around it. I'm gonna get rid of this. These are our BBs. Just get rid of the smoke oil that comes with it. a lot of the extras. I didn't even put the decals on this model. Um, the decals, not that I don't mind them, but I think I'm gonna do something different 
uh, with mine than the decals that came with it, but up to you. But as far as uh, everything around the tank itself goes, it's pretty cool. You've got, uh, first things first, let's show you all the moving parts. So like this uh, whole system up here, this will, the turret uh, moves. So when you assemble the gun, it also, the gun comes with a light. You've got to plug it in. So just make sure your polarity is correct when you do, but uh, when you fire the machine gun, we'll show you that in a little bit, uh, that will that moves around nicely. You got a few uh, hatches here that can uh, be open and closed. So again, you can check in there for different things. There's side hatches, there's top hatches. This is gonna be, this top hatch up here is gonna be where you load uh, your BBs, if you will, goes up at the top. And then on the back itself, you have, uh, which is pretty cool. One thing about the howitzer, since it's self-propelled, when it's gonna fire, this thing needs to be stabilized. So these are some of the pieces that you build. You can push these down, and then that'll give it like, you know, the stability for uh, the recoil when it's fired. And then you'll see you have a whole back door. That's where your battery is gonna live. So what you do is you can pop these nice, uh, easy. They come off, they don't, you know, they're not glued on. And then you can get full access and you can see in there, that I, I've tucked the battery away, and that can just stay plugged in. So once it's charged up, you can leave that plugged in, because I'll show you in the front uh, where the on and off switch goes. But basically that goes in there, and then these will just slot in, nice and easy, and then they can go up, and they sort of live, you know, when the tank uh, or the self-propelled uh, howitzer goes in motion. Then taking a look at the front, this little canopy here uh, is one of the spring loaded. It picks up and then slides off to the uh, left and that's gonna give you access in here to your on off switch. So that's where we're gonna turn that on and we'll do that here in a second. But then one of the things I love too is uh, obviously when this when the uh, the howitzer is in motion, they lock down the long barrel because I guess this thing would be you know too crazy possibly moving around, but you got this whole like locking mechanism and this actually works. So you can just um, pop that open and then press it down when you're ready to start, uh, you know, moving this tank around. So now that we are, uh, let's get it started. So I have the transmitter here. I added four AA batteries. That's the only thing you need to provide. So I'm gonna turn that on here and then I'm coming in and we're gonna turn on uh, our tank. Now you see the lights. When the lights are flashing, that probably means your transmitter's not on. When the lights, uh, you know, go solid, that means it's basically armed, but nothing's gonna happen here until you push this lock button. Nice, and you can hear now that the, uh, just one of the set of engines will turn on, and now from this point, everything on the transmitter is gonna work. So your left stick is going to be uh, your turret traversing. Up and down is gonna move the cannon, and you can hear the sounds. So cool, love that. So then you can move it all in motion. And again, as we said before, it's proportional. So the lighter I move on the sticks, watch with the turret. Look how slow you can make it move. So you don't have to push down too hard. It'll move more scale. If I push it all the way, it'll go faster. Same with the, same with the, the turret. That's as fast as it'll go and then this is as slow as it'll go down. You can really make it, you know, scale, and you can program it to where it'll move slower in scale, you know, as you bang on the stick, that's up to you. Again, this, this, this uh, transmitter is fully programmable. You could do a lot. Let's show you the machine gun. Top left button's gonna fire the machine gun. You'll hear the sound. And then you also see the red light flashing. Love that, think that's so cool. Then I'm gonna show you the cannon recoil. So when you push both buttons, you're gonna fire. And you can see you get the, uh, not only does the tank recoil, but you get the uh, cannon recoil as well, which is just really cool. So as you, uh, as you fire and fire more, you're gonna fire the BB out and all that stuff and uh, just super cool. And then as far as driving it around, same thing as the uh, turret on top. Uh, you can, the faster or slower you move, um, the, the proportional controls uh, will allow you to go super fast or super slow. I'm not gonna move it around too much on the table here, but uh, we'll take it outside. As far as the volume again goes, if you push and hold the volume button and move down on the sticks, you will uh, you'll hear that you can shut that sound off. So now you can hear it better, but now you can hear 
you know, you can hear the workings of the tank itself. But one of the things I want to talk about too, the smoke unit. So now the smoke on this model will come out of this little, uh, this little piece here. So I turn the smoker on, you can hear the smoker working. The smoker is like a pump. So when you put the fluid into it, uh, it pumps back and forth, it heats up, and eventually it'll start pr producing smoke out here. Now, sometimes it's hard to see depending on the lighting. We got a lot of bright lights on me. We were trying to show it when it was coming out on the, uh, on the live show, and I could see it, but it was hard for people on the, the show to see it. But basically, if you start running out of smoke, they give you a little dropper and a little attachment here. You basically go into the hole. Here we go. There's some smoke coming out now. Like, I can see it. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but if you can... You know, it looks better depending on the light. But basically, you would turn the smoker off, which I'm going to do now. And uh, if, you know, if you didn't see smoke coming out, but you heard it going, you basically want to stick this into, there's a hole down there that uh, you will work this down into. You, you lay about two or three drops in there, and uh, then it should last for hours, um, you know, of playtime. So the bottle of smoke oil they give you will go a long way. And then lastly, if you did want to install the... Uh, IR sensor on the top where the uh, where the machine gun is installed. You're going to see up here the wire for the machine gun uh, plugs in on top here, and then you're going to see that there is another little plug. That's where you're going to press in your IR sensor. So it just has this one little one little uh, switch. You plug that in, and then on top of all these tanks, you'll look for the magnet because these are magnetically magnetically held. There's a magnet right there on top. So that's going to be how your tank would look when you're playing IR, uh, the IR game, with other tanks. But all around, absolutely awesome as far as uh, functionality, as far as scale, detail, and presentation. You can see taking it outside here, it just looks really cool, even on the street, on the grass, wherever you're going to take it around. These are the types of models where whether or not you like RC and actually want to play with these models um, outside, that's completely up to you. They also work as just awesome scale display pieces. And we know a lot of customers buy them just for that reason. They want to detail them, they want to rig them out and make them look uh, as scale as possible. Possible. So, uh, you know, they're awesome platforms for the scale model modelers to get into. And we here at Motion RC, we carry a lot of tank accessories now. We've got tank figures uh, that you could find. We've got all sorts of tank accessories, like little boxes, logs, um, turret protectors, all sorts of camouflage, things that you put on tanks and around tanks. Um, it really, really, uh, really, really opened the doors to customizing these RC tanks for a lot of our customers really, really love that stuff. And obviously we have all the paints, airbrushes. You can get everything you need to customize a tank at Motion RC now. So guys, that's going to do it for us here with the uh, self-propelled howitzer, the M109A2, available right now in three editions. This is the Professional Plus, but you can pick up the Professional or the Upgrade Edition, uh, however your flavor. I love the fact that Tongda is a new brand making a lot of models that we have yet to see in the RC tank world, and we hope they keep doing it because this one is absolutely gorgeous. That'll do it for us here, guys. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Hit the like button on your way out the door. Uh, we love for you to do that helps with the algorithm and also if you could subscribe to the channel We're getting close to that hundred thousand dollar uh, hundred thousand subscriber hundred thousand dollars Yeah, I wish uh, the hundred thousand subscriber mark on YouTube. We're really close We want to put that plaque up here on our sets uh, And it would be a big help if you guys can help us out with that But guys that'll do it for us here at Motion RC See you in the next video. Bye guys